In Studio One Five, we introduce some great features to make composing and creating even better. There are major improvements to how it handles switching articulations for virtual instruments, or as they're called in Studio One, sound variations. Firstly, a new lane has been added to the musical editor to view and edit variations, which replaces the key switches lane introduced in Studio One 5.0. You can use the paint tool to enter variations directly, or apply them to selected notes. Studio One automatically shows the variation names from third-party instruments that present this information. This is a bass from UJAM that presents its key switches to Studio One. And Vienna Symphonic Library's Synchron Player automatically populates its sequences of key switches and controller data. A massively time-saving feature, leaving you free to get on with composing with its great sounds. For libraries that don't do this, you can use the new Sound Variations Editor to assign and edit variations, whether they are single key switches, controller data, program and bank changes, or a combination of any of those in a single sequence. Variations can also be triggered by remote commands, which allow control from keyboard shortcuts, hardware controllers, user macros, and even custom layouts in Studio One Remote. Variations can be grouped into folders and reordered by dragging and dropping as required, so you can navigate the most complex maps. Variations are saved with the song and instrument preset, so next time you need to open the instrument, the map automatically populates with one simple drag and drop. You may prefer to have an articulation per track, useful when needing to set negative offset for a given patch, a feature again improved in version 5. If you have a particular issue with a plugin, you can open the document with plugins disabled. Just right click and select Open with Options. Although a small feature, this could be a lifesaver on a tight deadline. In your template, Studio One can now search and filter tracks and channels with some useful options. You can elect to show or hide tracks via search text, for example, or show tracks with events under the cursor, with many other choices and custom filters available. The view state of tracks can also be linked to its channel and can be saved at any time as a mix scene. The filter also has its own dedicated undo redo command. Studio One 5 now supports note controllers for more expressive playback, including polypressure and MPE. Note controllers can affect individual notes in pitch, pressure, and timbre. MIDI instruments, such as the Presonus Atom, can offer polyphonic pressure. An MPE, or MIDI polyphonic expression, can be found on state of the art MIDI controllers, such as the Roly Seaboard and Blocks, and Roger Lin's Linstrument. It is also supported by a growing number of virtual instruments, like this synth. Whilst we are here in the note editor, amongst numerous composing tools and functions is the arrow tool, which in 5.2 has become much smarter. Depending on where you hover over the note, the arrow tool automatically switches its function, here changing velocity, muting and unmuting, splitting the note, or changing its duration. Another recent addition is being able to display global tracks within the editor itself, useful for context and general orientation when you're composing. For specific tasks, you can use the other editors too. There's a drum editor for easily creating and editing drum patterns. Add names for pitches, filter notes you're not using. You can save and recall mapped pitches. And a score editor, where you can view, edit, or compose in standard notation or tablature and quickly print either full scores or individual parts or sections. You can also transfer to and from our sister notation software, Notion. Note this transfer is not simply based on MIDI or Music XML, but the actual score data from Studio One, along with document and NEVST data. Each of these editors can be shown side by side, which makes for a great workflow, especially with multiple monitors. If you're writing to picture, you can use Studio One's built-in video player. 
just drag and drop the video file into the arrangement. You can extract the original audio into its own channel to which you can more easily sync musical hits. And when you want to, say, share a rough preview, you can export the video containing a mixdown of your new soundtrack. If you are syncing to external hardware, then Studio One can generate or follow timecode. MIDI timecode and MIDI machine control can be set independently. In the track area, there are a number of arranging or prototyping tools that are useful for composition. Firstly, scratch pads. This is a special area that you can sketch in or drag events or whole song sections to for noodling about and experimenting. Made something you like? Then just drag it into the main song. There's no limit to the number of scratch pads you can create within a single song. You could even use it for creating entire alternate cues or songs for mixdown. Within the global track selector is the arranger track. This allows you to not only clearly label sections of a song, but you can quickly and easily drag to another position, either copying, moving, or replacing. No need to cut or copy the tracks underneath, it does it all for you. Plus, if you delete a section, it can close up the cut part automatically. But even before you start dragging the sections around, you can use the arranger track for live arranging. This allows you to preview different possibilities in playback. Just double click the next section you want to hear in the sequence, and Studio One will jump to it. The chord track offers some unique harmonic prototyping tools. Firstly, it will analyze and display any chords you have written, which you can copy to the global chord track. Then you can try out and enter different chord possibilities with the chord selector. But the experimenting doesn't stop there. You can then have both instrument and real audio tracks following the chord track, transposing in real time. And while we're here, this little button is one of my favourite lifesavers when you have played something awesome and forgotten to hit record. The retrospective record button will recall what you just did, complete with any automation and MPE data. Your sonic palette is not limited to the built-in instruments or whatever virtual instruments you own. You can use Studio One's multi-instruments. Combine instruments and synths. and play them as a single instrument whilst manipulating the outputs with note effects and plugins. All of which can be saved together as a single multi-preset. You can also hook up any of your classic synth hardware. They can be incorporated as external instruments, combining MIDI output and audio input via an AUX channel. This combination is then available to simply drag and drop from the browser, like any other instrument. And while we're on external hardware, you can also hook up your signal processors. Studio One's Pipeline XT allows you to quickly set them up, automatically measuring latency and setting the compensation. You can create text notes of your parameter settings and even add a photo, which will be saved with a song and with your pipeline presets. For collaborating with others, if you are a member of Presona Sphere, you can access shared workspaces directly from Studio One. Also within the browser tab is a direct link to Presonus Exchange, where you can swap presets, macros, FX, chains, grooves, and more. When you are wrapping up your project, remember Studio One has mastering tools built in.
and is the only DAW that links songs and stems with finished mixed projects. So if you hear something that needs fixing during the mastering, or a re-edit is requested at the last minute, you can jump right back into the song, and then incorporate any revisions straight into the mastering page, picking up where you left off. And finally, of course, don't forget the tight integration between Studio One and PreSonus hardware. The Atom pad controllers and the fader port control surfaces are perfect for getting your ideas down fast. That's a quick overview of some of Studio One's key features for composers. Each of the features I've mentioned have separate in-depth overviews to check out. But for now, thanks for watching.